Hello, hello, welcome along. It is the 24th of December. It is the last day of Flossmas. Yes, there won't be one tomorrow, I'm afraid. Um, is everybody ready? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I've still got loads of presents that I haven't wrapped. Um, and I still even think there might be a couple of presents that I haven't really sorted out. Somebody, there might be a couple of notes in various people's uh, presents to say things are to come. Um, I totally agreed with what Laura was saying. I was watching Brenda and Laura um, the other day, she just said she's not, she's just not there with Christmas this year. And I sort of agree. It just, I don't know. I think it may be because we finished school so late. It just has, I haven't had that headspace to think about it and it'll just happen. And if we've got it, we've got it. If we haven't, we haven't. And then it's only one day. It's only one day. A couple of little bits of updates before I get started. The pins I said yesterday from Christina's new release which I popped into the top of my one that she released a couple of years ago which was the freebie all is calm Got horrible light again today there we go and she's now released woo, all is bright I said I didn't know where she got the pins from but I watched her video and she says where she gets the pins from but I'm not going to tell you because if you go and watch her video there is a discount code that's associated with those pins. So I'd kind of feel a bit weird about telling you where they came from, but not telling you about the code. Um, but it's not my code to tell. So go and watch Christina's latest video. You can find out where in the UK she got these pins and you can get the discount code. If you're uh, overseas, Jersey Girl Stitches, who make fab fabulous, fabulous pins um, in the States, she does ship all over, but she is doing some similar ones or um, something that would go with the design for um, those people who are overseas. So if you're in America and you want some pins, go and check out Jersey Girl Stitches and you'll find something which will go along with it brilliantly. Let me just put that there. Also, last reminder, it will be there all over Christmas and in perpetuity, I'm sure. But last reminder, if you would like to get the chart for this, or the other version, they both come in the same chart pack with the two angels on it, um, you can get that from um, Patchwork Rabbit, the Patchwork Rabbit, how could I forget? And I do have a code down below, or not code, a, a link down below if you would like to go and get that. I also, uh, there we go, I also had a sudden epiphany that on the 3rd of July, uh, July of January, I had done a giveaway for Esther Law, which is Chloe Wood, who is Girl with the Gavel Stitches, her latest reproduction. It is not this green. These were back in the days when my printer was having its green period. You know, like uh, various artists have their blue phase and their yellow phase. My printer was having a green phase. Um, and the winner, I shall put up here, because I drew it this morning, and then just before I came on to check, I forgot to check the winner's name. So I, I know I have already let you know on um, your comment on YouTube, but if you could get in touch with me via Instagram or via email, I will get Chloe to send your copy out to you. Congratulations. I think I'd said I was gonna do that on the 20th, but I just suddenly had this epiphany <laughs> that I had something to do. Little bit of stitching last night, although I was in bed by quarter to ten. I'm sure you've been able to tell from all of the little funny joins in my video recently the cough is back which means the rib is back. There we go. So there is my reindeer. I finished off a bit more in his um, antlers and I've got one more. There's one more time that comes up in the middle there and then I did some more on his breastplate down here. So really enjoying stitching on this again, really enjoying stitching on it. So I'm hoping my goal is to have it finished for next year. A two year sale I don't think is a bad idea. <laughs> right, okay, let's have a look at the house for captured children. Let's see whether they're going to escape or not. Here is door number 24. Oh, it's a double door. They could definitely get out of that. Oh crikey, they got the Holy Family in there as well. <laughs> there we go. It's the Holy Family and they're captured in there as well. So we've got uh, Mary and Joseph, baby Jesus, Baba Yessi, as he's known in Wales, and 
a couple of extra angels, various sort of hangers on. There we go. So they're in there as well. I've loved this advent calendar this year. It's been fabulous. It is looking a little bit worse for wear. I think, well, I can admit to it now, admit to it now, somewhere in about the 12th, 13th of December, I actually stood on it. <laughs> I put it on the floor, <laughs> out the way, supposedly, and then I stood on it. Um, so I was hoping to keep it for next year, but it is a little bit, um, a little bit worse for wear, shall we say. So what I might do is maybe cut out a few of the little, uh, the little children and keep them as little tags or something for next year. But other than that, that is the uh, House of Capture Children for this year. I've enjoyed. I have enjoyed. Right. I've got for you today a couple of extra, actually, Christmas stitches. I think I'd showed you a lot of my Christmas stitches before. And then I suddenly remembered I had a couple of others. So. <clears throat> This one, and I'm going to have to look up who uh, who charted this one because I've had a sudden a sudden brain fade, which has been quite a common thing throughout this whole scenario <laughs> of a sudden brain fade. Oh, that's going to really. So this is the Winter ABCs. I think it's by Little House Needleworks. If it's not, I'll put it different on the bottom. Um, and I did mine on a very pale green I think it might be a 28 count um, and I used just a, a very simple palette of kind of green brown grey red and there's a little tiny bit of yellow in there as well um, and I did a, a soft finish and it hangs on a pair of old doorknobs I've got the other four to do I just haven't gotten around to doing them and isn't that the story of life? <laughs> I've got them, but I haven't got around to doing them. And the other one, excuse me, reaching, that I have is this one. I forgot to show you. This is the 2020 Stitch Along um, that Barbara Anna did. And I absolutely love this. It's the only Stitch Along I've ever really kept up with. And I was there with bated breath every, like, the first, I think it was, um, it might have been actually no she probably did it on the first and the 15th that's usually what she does with a stitch along um and i was there i loved it love love loved it i just love that border you can still buy the thing as a whole from um creative poppy so you can go and grab that if you want to let's have a look and see what we have got in box number 24. There is also a box number 25 as well in this calendar. So let's have a look and see what we've got in box 24. Oh, amazing. Ultra Sun lip protection. Love that. Love, love, love. My bag that I've been keeping them in is over there. Sort of, close by. Now, the other thing I wanted to share with you is some plans, some things that I really want to stitch is practically they're practically all Christmas stitches things that I really wanted to um to stitch but I just haven't gotten around to it this year so it's really hot in this house today I'm glowing it's really hot um the first thing that I really wanted to start this year mainly because of the lovely gift from Vivian and her husband of the box was O Tannenbaum and I really wanted to stitch it this year because I'd been gifted the box that her husband had made. Um, and so I'm looking for something to start on Christmas Day, I think. So I've got, I think, pretty much everything that I would need to start this one. So that's a possibility for starting, I say on Christmas Day, that's tomorrow. <laughs> um, there's that one. The other thing that I've always really wanted to stitch is the Noel sampler by uh, With Thy Needle and Thread. No, Brenda Gervais. Brenda Gervais and With Thy Needle and Thread. Brenda Gervais is the de designer by With Thy Needle and Thread, but they also have, she also um, releases designs under her own name as well. Um, now I'd found this really hard to get in the UK and a lovely viewer sent it to me. So I could potentially start this one. It's all DMC, 
so I could probably muster up everything for DMC and I've got some fabric for that one I think I would stitch that on a 32 count so it was a nice size this one was stitched on 40 count parchment I think yes but I do have some 32 count that I think would be a lovely colour for that so I might do that I might start that the other thing that I really wanted to get to this year whoops that I haven't gotten to and it won't be something I'm starting tomorrow because I haven't got the right fabric for it is the little house needleworks now I'd actually gone as far as putting them into packs of the ones that I planned to stitch for I've got a few spares as well each each of us so Chris's can show you Chris's would have the gas station the mercantile the diner and is that the coffee shop yeah the coffee shop so that would be Chris's row of shops this would be mine which is the tree lot the quilt shop the school and the needle workshop and then Ness's row would be grandma's house the firehouse because it's got a little dalmatian on it uh, the pet store and the toy store and I've got a few others that I may add in as well and they were sent to me, or well, the majority of those were sent to me by a lovely viewer as well. But that's not something we can start tomorrow. Okay, let's have a look at number 25. What is behind number 25 or in number 25? Ooh, Clinique. High impact mascara. Wow. That's quite expensive. I've used Clinique products quite a lot before and that is quite expensive. So this advent calendar, seriously the Marks and Spencer's advent calendar, every year, I've had it two years now and it's been brilliant every year. What else had I wanted to show you today? Ah, what is going to happen from here on in? As much as I've enjoyed our time every day, you are probably sick of the sight of me. <laughs> and so I will be back in January um, my first episode back will be January the 8th so that will be my first kind of um, update show I am going to be spending a good bit of time over the holidays sorting out my whips sorting out my journals I do hope to do a whip parade once I've got everything sorted I sort of did half a one last year and it wasn't very good so I think I would like to do a whip parade, but I shall sort out my my stuff first of all. So that's the first thing that I'm planning to do. I've also got three books that I would like to spend a good deal more time with in the next few weeks or couple of weeks. This one called The Pocket. It is all about how the pocket relates to women's lives so I really can't wait to have a better look at that I've had that for quite a while but I haven't got around to looking at it this one emblems for a queen it's all about the stitching of Mary Queen of Scots and I think it has some work inside from Beth Bess of Hardwick as well um, because she was a, a fabulous seams seamstress as well as not seamstress sewer stitcher so I want to spend more time looking at that and because I am planning to start my Norfolk model I also want to spend a bit more time looking at this which is called Imitation Improvement the Norfolk Tradition which is by Joanne Ukacha and I'm sure I pronounce that wrong every time um, and it was actually um, Joanne who confirmed that my Norfolk is definitely a Norfolk so the last thing for me to do today is to open the patchwork rabbit day 24 Ooh, what do we have in day 24 oh! 
a little pair of Kelms Cot Black Stork Scissors. How fabulous are they? Let's get them out. Oh, look at those. Aren't they amazing? Can't wait to use those. Well, I just want to say a huge thank you to Patchwork Rabbit because this advent calendar has been amazing again. If you didn't get it this year, make sure you sign up to the Patchwork Rabbit newsletter so that you know when it's going to be available next year. And that's all from me. Uh, I just want to say a massive, massive Merry Christmas, Nadole Klauen, to everybody. Thank you so much for all your support this year. And as always, stay glassy, Stitchers.